Okay, it's raining real hard, but you can probably hear me. This is my board. If you see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 nails in a circular pattern. What I'm making is a star rod and coil. You run across from one to five, and then from five to 12, and then back, count five, one, two, three, four, five, five, zero to five. And you keep wrapping like this. One, two, three, four, five. 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 So there's my first wrap, but you see the star I have. It's a 12 pointed star. One, two, three, four. Well, I skipped one, but my point is that's what I'm doing to get my rod and coil nearest the coil with this 12 points. And I wrapped 12 times I did this. I just did one. I did 12 of those to get my single. Next, what I'm going to do is add a nail in between each of these and do two different coils. One looks like this. The other one will be the stars in between these to give me a double coil to get my rotation fast enough. And I'll show you that in just a second. But that's how I got to wrap my star rod and coil so I don't have to go through a round tube to make a regular rod and coil. Star coil works the same. Moving on. Okay, the noise you're hearing is the wind's blowing real bad and the, the roof and walls of my fabulous laboratory are banging and squeaking. But this is my dual uh, coil, rod and coil. There's two coils within this. You know, it's, it's 12 stars for the blues is one coil, 12 stars for the reds is the other coil. So there's two 12 point coils here, independent of each other. You know, they start here, the blue one starts here, goes in, the blue one ends up here going in, and the red one here, and the red one match with that one. But what it is, you, you wind one 12 hit wrapping, you start here, and you go down five, go around, crop five, go around, go up five, go around, till you get 12 pointed star with the blue, then you lay the blue out of the way, and then you run the red, and you start on here for one. And you go five, wrap five, 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 five. It's like a clock. You got 12 hands on each one. I've got 10 wraps on each one, which is 20 total wraps, but each coil has 10 stars stacked upon each other. So I wanted to show this before I hot glue it because you can't see it. Once I hot glue it, you know, it, it becomes, you can't see how cool it looks like you can here. But anyway, it's a rod and coil, but it's just, you don't have to, you know, I was gonna use this ring. That's the diameter I need. Three inches is all bigger my coil can be. I was gonna use this and make it a rod and coil. It goes around a tube, see? The blue ones are all 30 degrees apart and the red ones are all 30 degrees apart, but each coil is 15 degrees apart from each other one. The reds and blues are 15 degrees, which gives me my 360 with the dual coil. Anyway, I wanted to show that before I hot glue it and you can no longer see it's cool <laughs> how it's made. Pretty cool looking. It's just a one inch Neo inside a little cup. I'm gonna try and get it to spin. There she goes.
There she goes. I don't know, you can hear it. I can't really see it, but it's, it's spinning down. <coughs> yep. Okay, yeah. I've got my... Uh, computer fan uh, sensor here and if you can see it's got three hole sensors one two three but it's not self-starting I must have it wired wrong I ain't figured that out yet but anyway that's mounted here solid so I have to mess with it and I've got my magnet you can see the blue north south is on this side north on that side and the skateboard wheel mounted in this piece of wood but I wanted to show you this run of it because it's pretty cool how it works. It won't self-start, but if I give her a little spin, she'll start kicking. Check this out. I guess you can hear it winding up, winding up. If I shake the coil, you see the wheel shake, I get higher RPM. Going in and out does it too. Well, as long as I don't touch it, uh, It starts warbling. Well, it's out of balance if you see it warbling there. Real slow, elliptical. That's about as fast as I can get it to go. I'll get a little more. That's about it. I don't know what the RPMs are. These are busy, though. That's about all I can get out of it. You can see it. <laughs> Pretty cool. And I've got 12 volts going to it, but I have two adapters. One's 12 volt, 600 milliamp. The other one's 10 volt at 700 milliamp. And I've got them hooked in parallel feeding this thing. It burns my fingers to slow it down. Anyway, I thought that was cool.